Good morning, everyone. Dr. Vicki here. Speaking to you from the Seeds of Transformation Healing Center. Beautiful, colorful Wareham, Massachusetts. Today is, uh, let's see, what day is it? It is Thursday, the 26th. Yep. <laughs> I think about that. And uh, the moon is in Aries. We woke up, well, I woke up. <laughs> Uh, the moon shifted into Aries at 6.02 a.m. So when I woke up, the moon was in Aries, out of Pisces. And, uh, of course, Aries is a mishtori energy. It's fire. We want to start things with the moon in Aries. Um, good news, we have a speaker of the house. Um, bad news, we have a speaker of the house. Uh, this Johnson guy is, um, you know, anti, anti everything that is, that is human, really. Um, he, you know, wants an abortion ban, all that stuff. But things have to get done, I guess, and we'll see if they can get done with this nut job. Oh, did I say that out loud? <laughs> so, uh, I want to extend my my love and my compassion to the folks of Lewiston, Maine, who, as far as I understand it, are 20 people down right now because of a mass shooting in two different locations, um, a bowling alley and a restaurant. He had a high-powered uh, rifle, and... Uh, the last I heard, it was 20 or 22 people dead and about 50 people injured, some of them from stampeding out of where this guy came in and shot people up with a semi-automatic gun. You know, it ha I think it's like 500 mass shoot 530 mass shootings now. And every single one of them preventable and uh, horrifying it's uh, it's not a it doesn't happen that often here in New England not like that I mean we have our crime shootings you know where three or four people die um, but this kind of mass casualty event um, I don't know maybe these people think that you know why should you, the Ukraine have all the fun? <sighs> it's like one step, one baby step forward and 20 or 22 steps back. Um, we have to get out of the clutches of the gun military industrial complex <sighs> anyway it's not going to make these people come back and Lewiston, Maine has changed forever <sighs> I wanted to be more optimistic this morning I feel like I've been ranting a lot and <laughs> and while many of you sort of are on on the same page as my rantings I'm not sure any of it any of that stuff really helps except for maybe me to feel better and for you to realize that there are people that think like you um, but it comes down to actions that need to be taken I know they say vote 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 and yeah we have to vote 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 but we could vote 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 but those people have to be willing to do what we ask them to do, like get rid of uh, like a, an assault weapons ban or universal background checks. People, people. Well, I am a tad optimistic because we're in eclipse season and we're about to go through a gigantic, a further gigantic transformation and I do know that a lot of this stuff needs to come up for us to see it, even though you and I are seeing it. And uh, 
just peace to everybody out there. Um, so I just wanted to point this out. Yesterday, booze rose open. Now this rose bush has hasn't bloomed all all year, and this is the first bloom. And yesterday it didn't look quite as healthy. And uh, Michael sat down right on this chair, which is right here. Or was it that chair? Well, he sat on a chair. I think it was that chair. And uh, Boo is right there. <laughs> Boo and Gretchen are right there. And then after he left, I came down and the rose had opened. So I think it was a, a love, a love um, snuggle, I guess, from Boo. And so this is a message for all of us from Boo. Um, when all else fails, roll in the grass. Yeah. Be in the moment. Sniff the good smells. <laughs> Get the good head scratches when people offer. Protect the people you love. And eat all your dinner. <laughs> I miss that bubba head. I've really been missing Gretchen and Boo. And hopefully when I can see myself through, I'll get another dog. Problem with animals is not that they come and they live with you um, and then you have to let them go. Because for me, the memories are always what sustains me. And I know they're never really very far away. Um, but it's the freaking vetvilles. It's ridiculous. <gasps> ay, ay, ay. I mean, you have to have a couple of thousand dollars in the bank to make sure that you can take care of the health of your, of your animal. I know they need health care, but it just seems, I don't know. Uh, here I am complaining again. What, what, why do you watch me? You watch me to talk about astrology. Not a lot of astrology happening today, though, so you, you stuck with me. Except for the fact we're right at the cusp of this eclipse. Things between the eclipses are crazy. And we do have a full moon in Taurus opposite the sun, Mars, and Scorpio. I was happy to hear uh, Joe Biden talk about what's happening in the West Bank of, um, of Israel there, Palestine, um, how the settlers are uh, attacking and shooting and uh, pushing uh, Palestinians out of their homes. Um, he said it. Nobody said it yet. He was the first to say it. And uh, again, I'm impressed with Joe Biden. Let's let's support him. Let's support him. He needs our support. He's he really is sort of holding the world in his hands. And uh, I'm glad he's as compassionate as he is. Because I think, what if all this stuff had happened, and Trump was in? What would our world look like? What would our country look like? We think it's bad now? <sighs> All right, I'm going to go. Sorry, guys. I'm not making your day any brighter. And I really do aspire to do that. So I appreciate your understanding in these matters. Hey, Chowie, what's up? Come on, let's go back in the house and eat some breakfast. You stay away. Get what are you doing? He chased the most gigantic, I think it was a chipmunk, but it looked bigger than that. I don't know, some gigantic little fuzzy thing yesterday. I had to grab him before he ate it or killed it. I mean, I know he's a cat, but a lot of these little wild animals have a lot of parasites, so you don't want them eating them, especially if they have, like, food in their dish. I don't understand. I guess it's the whole thing, being a cat. 
All right, guys. I love you. Namaste.